The aromas emanating from this bakery smell good enough to eat. Just make sure that you bring your furry four-legged friend along. We, we opened the pet bakery about six years ago to find a, a, a better opportunity for people to learn skills that are transferable. Everything we do is person directed. So it's at the um, abilities and uh, desires of the people that we support. Our goal is to um, try to provide opportunities, to provide meaningful opportunities for people to, uh, to, to make a contribution. That's important for people with an intellectual disability. Often they're segregated from society. They don't have a, um, a purpose or a, a value to contribute. And it, all of us need to be needed, no, and, and the people we support, no less. They participate in all aspects of running the operation, from uh, making the dough, um, decorating the cookies, uh, cooking them, baking them, and packaging them, and uh, as well as working here in the, in the retail store. Michelle Lenarden got her start at the bakery as a volunteer. I like the people here and they're very supportive and I like interacting with the customers. I say hello to them. I let them look around and you know there's sample treats on the counter so sometimes I um, give I give them one and if and I like to pet the dogs if I get a chance to. I make dog biscuits and, and muffins and um, progies and all kinds of things and pizza and all that too. I love it so much. It's a fun place. It is everybody and the people who work here love working here. We welcome everybody to come and bring your dog and uh, check us out. Reporting from Canine Delights Bakery in Thunder Bay, I'm Sarah MacArthur.